because they want you to be prepared in case of an emergency. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. And here in Rockingham County at the Dan River, there are signs located just about everywhere you turn, alerting people about the dangers of the river. You need a life jacket. You need to be, have a life jacket anytime you're on the water. I don't care if you're tubing or kayaking or canoeing, so that's the number one thing. Another critical reminder, program manager with the Dan River Basin Association says, is knowing your surroundings and where the different access points of the river are. Generally, they're about four to six miles apart, so it's a nice, two hour float, but you need to know what's in between there. Is there a dam in between there? And with Dan River Basin Association and working in partnership with the county, we've developed signage that tells you where these things are. Tuesday afternoon, just before 3.30, emergency crews, including Madison rescue squads, were on the move after they got a call about two women who needed rescue from the Madison River Park near Lindsay Bridge Drive. What it was was there was some subjects swimming on the river and they realized when they got out there they couldn't swim and they didn't have life preservers. Crews lowered a rope and life jackets before sending a swimmer out to bring the two women to safety with no injuries. Madison Fire Chief Jim Ritchie says 90% of the calls they get are like these. Mostly a service call, not really a true emergency. A true rescue is going to be traumatic injury, somebody near drowning or or is missing or a car in the water. An example is what happened here last year in June, where a family of nine went tubing in Eden. Four people died, including a seven year old. They don't realize how late at night it is or your surroundings, and then you're, you don't know where the waterfall is at, and then you go over. Bilingual signs in both English and Spanish were put up around the area shortly after the tragedy. So this was rock that they added in here. We had huge trucks in here, it was amazing. Rocks were also added to raise the water level. All you're going to do is relay back what I tell you to relay back. Tuesday's evening training was the first in about three sessions that will happen this year. First responders want you to know they are ready in case of an emergency, but want to avoid situations like this. And that's why before you hit the water, they say, come prepared and educated. It's not like swimming in a pool or a controlled environment at a water park. It's a, it can be a dangerous place. And first responders say if you find yourself needing help, make sure it is a true emergency, like he mentioned before, like an injury or a near drowning, because they have to call in various agencies to come and make that type of rescue using a lot of manpower. They say if it's something minor, just give them a call and give them a heads up so they can send the right amount of people and resources your way. Live in Rockingham County, Aaliyah Sims, Fox 8 News. Aaliyah.